Also ahead, maybe it's not uh, easy being green, but eating green is a different story. Kat Carney will look at a new trend in truly fast food. Stay with us. I'm Kat Carney. Do you have trouble deciding what to cook for dinner each night? Perhaps you may want to consider giving up cooking altogether and just go raw. That's right, a 100% diet of raw food. And joining me now to explain more about this growing trend is Jackie Graff, a gourmet living food chef and owner of Sprout Raw Foods. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you, Kat. Now, before we get into some of this yummy, um, these yummy items you have here, can you explain what is a 100% live foodist? What does that mean? It means that you're eating a diet of uh, organic, raw, uncooked, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And that's the way you eat, 100% right. raw. Right. And why did you choose to, to eat this way? Sort of an accident. We were vegetarian, and my brother got well by going on a raw food diet, and he came to live with us. And so rather than making him sick again, I decided, well, we'll just eat raw food, and we started feeling better. And I decided this is the way I want to feel the rest of my life. Wow, okay, well, let's take a look at what you've got here. You brought some really nice goodies, and I'm going to kind of dip in here and taste. Now, this right. is, you tell me, it's a chili. It's a chili. It's made with uh, tomatoes, everything you put in a chili, and we use uh, Brazil nuts as the texture. But it's not texture at all. Right, not cooked at all. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. And what do we have here? And that is a zucchini pasta, using actual zucchini for the pasta, a marinara sauce, and Italian nut balls. I'm going to be like full by the time we finish this. And again, <laughs> now what's, what's the spaghetti stuff in it? That's actually zucchini that we've spiral cut on a spiral cutter. So there is no pasta in there. It's almost hard to believe that right. this isn't cooked. Now, are these low-calorie foods as well? Well, you know, we need calories. We have to have, our body has to run on calories, but it also needs nutrients. And so these foods are high in nutrients because you don't destroy the nutrients when you cook it. Now, we have um, a type of pizza here. Now, how complicated are these items to make? Actually, it's very easy because, uh, you know, you, th the crust is dehydrated, and there's a, a cheese made out of uh, macadamia nuts and uh, sun-dried tomatoes for the sauce. So, so how long did it take you to make this? Probably 15 minutes. I don't believe it, but yes. that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is this right here that I'm going uh, to pull That's a nutteroni okay, instead well, of pepperoni. I'm going to pull this off. Oh, a nutteroni. Okay, well, I'm going to try this. Well, now, that, uh, that looks delicious, This is too. a berry cheesecake pizza, and we actually make the cheesecake part with macadamia nuts. Because we just use nuts as our uh, substitute for cheese, and so we, there's a substitute for every uh, cooked food. We have raw, raw substitute. Now, some of your recipes are in the book, The Complete Book of Raw Food. Right. Did you, how did you develop these recipes? Was it trial and error? Well, I was a gourmet chef before. And, and so when we started raw, we were eating. You could eat very simple like this. This is actually the only uh, piece of equipment you need. And you can just eat fruits and vegetables. But then I started getting a little bored, you know. I was thinking, can I do this the rest of my life? So then I started developing recipes because if I know I can have a pie or I know I can have a cookie or chips, I know that I will be able to eat this way the rest of my life. We don't do this all the time, but, you know, it is, it keeps you raw. Now, we only have a few seconds left. For someone who's interested in maybe incorporating more raw foods or maybe eating this way, should they do it all at one time or should they ease into it? What I say is start adding more raw foods, like change to fruit for breakfast, a fruit smoothie or fruit. Uh, maybe a salad for lunch. Maybe use fruit as your snacks. Don't eat desserts. Great. Don't eat processed food. Great. Jackie Graff from yes. SproutRawFoods.org. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your time Thank today. You. And for your health, I'm Kat Carney.